In this tutorial, I will go through how to post process DJI Phantom 4 RTK photos in Augusoft Metashape Professional. Start by adding your photos, go to workflow, add photos, select the photos you have captured, and open. Now we see that we have the coordinates, that long, and the altitude, and an accuracy of 10 meters. But for each of these photos, there is actually more information about the accuracy from the GNS S receiver. So therefore, we create a new project, say discard, we go to tools, go to preferences, and under the advanced tab, you can check all these four boxes. The important ones here are the camera orientation angles from the XMP metadata, the camera location accuracy from the XMP data. The other ones are not that important for this case, but it's good to have them if you have photos containing camera calibration and GNS GPS offsets. Press OK. Import the photos again. And when you press open, now we can see that we have an accuracy in the lat long. This is the first. And the second one is the, the accuracy and the altitude. We also have your pitch and roll. And we have an accuracy estimation of the, these angles as well. Uh, now we can convert the coordinate system to the coordinate system you're using for your country. I should press this one. And I type Svere 99 here. And we're using the projected coordinate systems. It's important to be under the right tab here. And in this case, I'm using the Svere 99 And this is the geoid I'm using. RH2000. To download the geoid, you go to Augusoft's website, you press downloads, and then you click on geoids here. For Sweden, you can just download the, this file, the RH2000. The file needs to be located in the folder C program files Augusoft Metashape Pro geoids. And here I have down, uh, put this file. You're not allowed to download it directly to this folder, so you need to download to another folder, drag it to this folder, and say that give it administration administrative permissions to copy the file here. Now we can do the alignment. Go to workflow, align photos. Use high, generic pre-selection, reference pre-selection. Under advanced, the default values are 40,000 for this one and 4,000 for the type point limit. And you run this one, takes about five minutes and then we can continue. Now when the alignment is done, we can uh, check one of the ground control points and see the quality of the of the point cloud and the alignment. Here is one of the ground control points. I will put the marker here and place it in place it in all the the photos. Now I can use uh, page down to switch between the photos. And we will see where is that one? It's here. I put out the marker in in all photos.
So now we have put the point in all the photos. And now we'll check the, the estimated coordinates for this one. And now I just switch to view estimated here. And I will evaluate the values against the, the correct point that was measured on the ground. Uh, here are the coordinates for the point measured on the ground. And now we can see that we have uh, less than one centimeter in the east. And in the north we have less than one centimeter as well. And in the z direction we have about 65-66 uh, centimeters error. Uh, 